Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm selling my stuff on Depop. The reason why I'm having to do this is because I do really need money and I'm finding it really hard to find a job right now. So selling my clothes is what we've come to. This is my Depop here if you're interested in buying any of the stuff that you see in this video. But I just thought I would film the process of me doing it all and also it'd be a way to like promote some of my clothes on another platform. Yesterday I went through my wardrobe and I was picking out bits that I don't really wear anymore. So today I'm going to be taking photos and pricing stuff up and putting it all on Depop, posting it all. But in terms of taking the photographs, I want to have a white background. So I'm going to take my stuff off my wall. Um, I've got my phone here on a tripod, so I'm going to take photos on my phone. So I do actually have a remote that I use to take the photos on my phone. This is definitely a must have if you're into taking photos on your phone or like just as something general to have it's so much easier than using a self timer okay so i'm gonna start off with the t-shirts this is my t-shirt pile what i have actually decided to do is get a notebook and then write down everything that i've tried on so far with all the sizes and stuff so then i don't have to get it all back out to check the sizing and stuff in this eventually when i put it on depop i'll put all the prices down in this as well so that i can keep on track what everything's gonna cost. I did get these polos from a kilo sale and I've been meaning to sell them for a little while. And this one here, especially this one, is so big. So if anyone's really into sewing, you can probably do something with it, whether you wanna make it into like a skirt and a top, or like, you could actually just wear it as a dress. So. <laughs> So I've finally gotten all my way through the tops. I'm now going to start on trousers and skirts, leggings, that type of stuff. I've not got too much more to go through now. So I didn't actually realise but my camera died so I was just photographing a bunch of skirts and stuff. You'll probably see clips of them anyway. Also I'm absolutely exhausted from putting on so many clothes and changing. I've also got a couple pairs of shoes. Here I've got some Puma suede, which are too small for me. They have only been worn a couple times. And then I also have these cats here. If you want a pair, these are brand new, never been worn. They still got the tags on. I'm pretty sure these are a size five. I'm like a four and a half, five, so. So I have literally spent the whole afternoon drafting up all of my posts to post onto Depop. I have 29 drafts ready to post. I'm not gonna post them straight away, I'm gonna wait until I've uploaded this video so it all kind of goes up at the same time. When it came to the description boxes, I just did a brief like outline of what the product is. Where it's from, the size, how comfortable it is, or if there's like any imperfections at all on it. The only thing that has imperfections are my Gymshark leggings. They've got a tiny hole on the hip and they've also got one on the lower leg as well. But apart from that, they are perfectly fine i've actually hardly worn them i've no idea how they've got these like little tiny holes in them so that's a mystery i think in terms of prices i've been pretty generous like i'm selling a ralph lauren polo shirt for 10 pounds so the most expensive clothing i'm selling is my vintage shirts i'm selling them for 15 pounds because i paid a lot <laughs> For those vintage shirts because I bought them before I knew like kilo sales existed. Also they are very 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 good condition so another thing that I did do was on all of my posts I put my height, my size, what clothes like sizings I would usually have. I also did my waist, my bra size and my leg length as well because I have really long legs. But it'd be really good so people can kind of judge what it's going to look like on there. So yeah so now I've done that I'm gonna basically do a little video montage with all the prices and everything, like the descriptions and everything for you so you guys can see what I'm selling. So if you are interested in anything, please feel free to go and buy it. All of my postage is three pounds. It's all pretty standard. The only, the only postage that I've charged more is for the shoes because they're bigger boxes, they're heavier as well. Also Depop takes 10%. So if you sell something for 10 pounds, including postage, you will only receive £9 into your PayPal account. But yeah, anyways, enough rambling on. I'll show you what I've done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit random, I must admit, but I thought it was just a good way to show you guys my process of 
selling items and then showing you guys what I'm also selling in case there's anything that you might like. so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it again i'll leave my depop in the description down below i'll also link my instagrams as well also i've got a little thing going around at the moment if you post a photo on instagram and use my hashtag gram with chloe on a friday i will be posting everyone that uses my hashtag every friday on my instagram stories so whether that's photography art blogging general instagramming whatever you want to do please use my hashtag i just think it's a really good way to share the creativity and all that type of stuff. So yeah, so thank you again for watching this video and have a good week.